church. But we've set, we've set this already. This is the deception in Christianity, brothers and sisters. I don't want to go there and make you feel like it's disrespect. I, I, I'll, t I'll tell you since you don't want to answer. Your Sabbath day is Sunday and that's pagan. Simple. Sunday worship came from the Soul Invictus cult. Alright? Constantine changed the day of worship from the Sabbath day, which is Saturday, to a Sunday. That's right, my brother. Get, get me, get me, go, go to Exodus 20. Remember the Sabbath. Yeah. If you know that in the Bible it says that God will only judge you on what you know. So if someone doesn't know that the Sabbath is on Saturday, then they can't be judged for that. Yeah, again, give me Ecclesiastes 9.11 and I'll show you that everyone will get the chance to know. Do you know the Bible actually tells you that you will get the chance? One, one, one question at a time. Go on, go. Hey, hey, bro, where you, bro? Where you from, bro? Where you from? Ethiopia. Are the, are the people from the tribe of Lemba Gentiles? No, the Hebrews. Hebrews. The, Lemba. The Hebrews, bro. You're told, get me, hold where you are, get Revelations 2 and 9. But break it down. Hey, hey, you, bro, 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 listen to me, right? Would you tell me the people from the Caribbean are Gentiles? No, the Jews. The Jews. And the so-called African-Americans Gentiles. We're going to get it. Let's go into Israel then. Come on. Read it. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So God knows the works and tribulation and poverty of his people who no longer know who they are. If you've been around long enough, you'll, you'll know that we've gone into who the Jews are. The people who suffered the curses of slavery. And we know in Jeremiah 17 and 4, they will lose their heritage. Thou even thyself will forget their heritage. You understand me? And you'll, you'll, you'll serve an enemy in a land which thou knowest not. So when did the, listen, I'm not even going to put anything out there. Let the Bible speak. And I know the what? And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. But are not the synagogue of Satan. So there's going to be somebody lying, saying they're the Jews, my brother. Somebody's lying. So we're there. When you look at this, when you, when you look at the lost tribes and the promised lands, when you look at Hebrewisms of West Africa and East Africa, because the Lemba are from are Hebrews as well, when, when, you go, when you go into this, when you go into this, you see the coat of arms, black people, why are they not teaching this? Never mind, for one second, let's remember Christ and, and God is the God of truth, right? So even if you think it's relevant who the children of Israel are in the flesh or not, even if you're a Christian, right? And you believe that we're all Israelites, which isn't biblical, but if you believe that, right? What's wrong with us telling you who the Jews were? Right? What's wrong with telling you that? There's nothing wrong with that. Why is that a problem? Alright? Read where you are. Yeah man, get Exodus 20 for now. No, in fact, forget that. Let's go to Revelation yeah. 1 and 14. Yeah. Yes. So let me show you. Let me show you. It does man, of course. John 3 16, we'll get it. Get my Bible out of my bag and get John 3 and 16. Hey, I, I, I break it down. That word you're talking about is Israel. Yeah. Yeah, which word? Which word? Alright, get where you are, get get second John 2 and 15. Wait then, get second John 2 and 15. I, I'm, I'm gonna ask you so. Listen. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. Let's go. Let's do this. Of course we do. Eternal judgment. We believe in eternal judgment. Where then? Come on. Second John 2 and 15. First John 2 and 15. Read it. Bro, bro, bro. You must know. Now let me answer, yeah? Alright, alright. Listen. I, I know other people might be harshly. We're not about that. But give me some room, yeah? Read it. First John 2 and 15. Read it. The book of First John chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world. Say that again. Love not the world. But the most I saw love the world. Are you there, yeah? 2 and 16. Yeah? Yeah, we there, yeah? So go, read it. John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. Read what it says there. Verse John 2 and 15. Love not the world. Oh, there's a contradiction. There's a contradiction. Oh my goodness me. We found a contradiction. 
Let's pack it and go home. Hey, 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 listen, I'm going to explain it. By the end of it, you know what? You can come in, sir, but there's not going to be much left to do. Let's go. Let's go to get numbers 21 and 5 to find out who God's referring to. He's referring to Israel. So we're going to start at the verse before verse 14 and break this down. Hey, hey, don't worry. Just remember, we'll write it down for you after. Read it. Read it. When I'm finished, yeah, go and read. 3 and 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So, read on. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. So, what, what happened in the wilderness with the serpent and Moses? Do you know? Yeah. Alright, why? Yeah, why? And everybody who saw it, what happened? They survived, they won't be killed, they'll be healed. Get numbers, 21 and 5, you know, yeah? Read it. The book of Numbers, chapter 21 and verse 5. And the people spake against God and against Moses. Which people? Israelites. Read. Where the true Jews. Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water. And our soul loveth this like bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much of Israel died. Much of Israel died. So we know Christ, when he's referring to for God so loved the world, in the verse before it, he's making a direct connection to the Israelites. Read on. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he taketh away the, the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. Alright, get me, get me John 17 and 9 and get me John the 13th chapter. You can come in. But the Bible says, through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hear every false word. You understand that? So, so, what, so what I'm saying is I'm getting all the precepts to prove what I'm saying is right before I let somebody come in and try to tell me that I'm not. Because there's going to be no dispute in this by the time we finish. Because, listen, the Bible's not wrong. So the word it's referring to is Israel. And we're going to show you. Jeremiah 17 and 9, read it. St. John chapter 17 verse 9 I pray for them, I pray not for the world So Christ prayed for them, who's he praying for? His people, not the world, read on But for them which thou hast given me but For them which thou hast given me But again that's conflicting to what we just said Because God so loved the world But Christ said, I love them that you gave me I don't love the world So is Christ not in the same mind with God? Of course he is, absolutely we just need to have the understanding. Are you in John the 13th chapter? Read that. The book of John chapter 13 and verse 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. So having loved his own, which were, in the, which were his own, alright, to the end, who were his own, Hold where you are, get Matthew 15 and 15 and 24, yeah? 15 and 24, and get Isaiah 45 and 17. Well, I don't know. Yeah, man, we could, exactly. Right, We're teaching who is really like that, 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 that system. We're not teaching any racial hatred or discrimination against yeah. anybody. You understand me? We're teaching who God's people are according to the flesh, along with the true gospel of Christ, which is to the Jew first, then the Gentiles. You understand me? But it seems to be a problem that we want to go to the Jew first. And, and in Romans 11 chapter tells us that's wrong. Because it says, boast not against the natural branches. So if we walk around prophesying Jesus loves you, but we're not going to tell a Jew, this brother, and answer me honestly, have you ever heard that you were a Jew before today? Never. Never. So what's wrong with me giving him that history along with the beautiful gospel of Christ? What's wrong with that? Yeah, but, but we can't call ourselves, one sec, one sec, we can't call ourselves modern day Christians, right? But on, only because, my sister, only because most Christian religions have kind of been put in a box and we don't believe in what they teach. Okay, but, but, but my sister, even though that's your interpretation, it's seen in the world as what? Thank you, because you're right. Well, I'm going to, it's seen as <laughs> So I'm not saying you, but, but, but basically it sounds like you are what I am because I, I, I want to be as Christ-like as I physically can in this vessel. Yeah? I want to walk as Christ did to the best of my ability, but I know I'm a sinner. 
And I know that I can only be covered by his blood, which was shed for the remission of the sins of Israel. To the Jew first, but then to the Gentile. Hold on. Right there. Read 15 and 24. Say Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ never came. Only. He came only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, 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 but not at this point. Hey, hey, hey. It wasn't at this point, no. But it's absolutely not. Because, because it, I, I break that down for you, but absolutely not. You don't have your time? Make sure you get the numbers from yeah, Calvin, yeah? Pardon? We, we can go into it, bro. No, we can go into it. Yeah? Don't, don't, don't let that not be your thought. Don't let everything you've heard today, you know, don't let this be the thing you take away, alright? Because we can sit down and go into the history and the Bible to show you why speaking in tongues is nothing more but a pagan custom to the goddess of Bacchus. That's it. Alright? Yeah. That, that's, that's a different topic, you with me? That that's a different to topic. We're, we're not, listen, one of the chief two speakers in our church, he used, you know, from a different Christian church, he used to be the best two speaker that used to get him to go to houses, speaking tongues and all that. Look, sometimes we need to humble ourselves, sometimes we've inherited lies. That's what the Bible tells us. Surely our forefathers have inherited lies. Read them, read 15 and 24 again. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But, but there's more. Read on. I'm not just going to close the book. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the understanding. Read. Verse 25. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Not me to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. You understand me? So, so, what, so what Christ is saying, listen, I've come to the Jews. And, and, and Christ perceived the other nations as gods. Not because, not because, listen, I'll tell you why it was. Because these other nations are worshipping different gods. Alright? And, and to be ungodly is filthiness and wickedness in the eyes of the Most High. But, but listen, there's more. This, this, pati one more, one sec. this particular, listen, this particular, I'm going to get there. This, this particular verse, the Most High still has mercy on the Samaritan woman. Read it. And she said, Truth, Lord. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs fall from their master's table. So true, but the dogs eat the crumbs of the master's table. Read on. Then Christ answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. So Christ said, great is your faith. That's what he said to the Samaritan woman. And, 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 her, and her daughter was healed. Read on. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. So what we need to remember is, verse 24 still stands. Read on. Verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the, uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So even though Christ had mercy on the Samaritan woman, doesn't change the fact he only came unto his own people, the nation of Israel. Why? Why did he only come unto his own people? Because none of these other Gentile nations would have received Christ. They never had the law of sacrifice. They never had the commandments that the Jews had. So the only people who were going to recognize Christ initially were going to be his people who sinned. If Christ's people never sinned, Christ would have never been sent into the earth. So of course we have to work with the Jew first. Get me Isaiah 49 please. Right? Now, now listen to what this says about Israel, read on. Hey. hey sis, listen to this. Sis, don't break up. Brian, Brian. Go, go, sis, listen to this. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. We shall not be ashamed or confounded. Word without end. Word without end. Word without end. Are you, holding, are you still holding Genesis 13 chapter? James of 13 chapter 4. Alright? And, and James of 13. So this is what we're saying. We should, get, pick, hold it again. Read it one more time. Read it. Isaiah chapter 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. We shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. 
a world without end. Israel will not be ashamed or confounded. World without end. So my last concept I'm going to show you. All right. Yeah, are you there yet? Yeah? Right. Get, get, get me second edges. Six and eight. And I'm going to show you, right? I'm going to show you, who, to show you now the powers to be that rule this world. In fact, go yeah. where you are, yeah? Get me, get me Ephesians 6 and 12. I know I've, I know I've, I know I've read it. I am in, I am it if you've got another five minutes. Right? Listen, this is what happens. If you ask a question... Which one? John 3.16, he's saying... It's the Holy Israel. Spirit is of the Most High. For God so loved the world. No, Does sir, we can break that down. We can break it down. For God I need to so go into the, the world. There's a lot of history I need to go into to show if you that. If he can get a simple text like that mixed up, then there's something me? not quite right about this group. So I will, I will, I, will, I promise I'll give you a chance now. But let me just finish this, yeah? Read that. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 8. And before we go there, who's Jacob? Jacob is the Bible. Who's Jacob in the Bible? Jacob's in the Old Testament. Who is he though? What? The father of Israel. The father of Israel. He had his name changed to Israel, right? So that's Jacob. Do you know who his brother was called? Uh, I'm a bit tired. Esau. Esau yeah, yeah. All right? That's, that's what's going on. Yeah. So when we read this, two more precepts, and then you can speak. Read it. Okay. Ephesians 6 and 12. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Tells us that we are, you know, the rulers of, the, of, of in high places. You understand me? The rulers of the darkness of this world. All right. These people happen to have a lineage that we can follow in the Bible. They're Edomites. Not all Edomites, but there's Edomites who's very dear, who their soul and primary religion is the worshiping of Satan, the worshiping of the devil. All right. And we believe, and we know through history, the history we have with, here, here with us today, who these people are. The Khazarian converts. That's who they are. Without me being politically incorrect. Th that's what I'm going to say. So the point I'm making is, they are Esau, according to the Bible. And they are in, they, they rule the world right now that we live in. Alright, while they suppress God's chosen people. Now check this out, read it. Can I come in there? 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 8 And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. So Esau is the end of the world. It's not the end of the world right now though, is it? Because we know Amalek, who the most I will have war with from generation to generation, according to the book of Exodus, alright? We know Amalek is still in control right now to this very day. That's why so many people have come up to me today saying, listen, why are the people starving in the world? Why are people suffering? You understand me? Why is it you walk a hundred meters up the street and see five people homeless without a house, cold on the streets? Why? Addiction. Why? Because, addiction. all right, all right, all right, addiction. All right, bro. all right, easy, settle down, all right? This is what I'm saying to you. There's wickedness going on in the earth right now. Hey, hey, just say, hey, hey, no, 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 yes. No, no, I think, I think the brother felt like, no, it's alright, I think the brother felt like, I'm not saying anything against the homeless, you know, they're the most like less than people. One, one sec, I promise, one sec. So read it from the, from the start again, so everybody understands, read it. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 8, and he said unto me, for Abraham and unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Jacob is the end, listen to me though, before I get, I'm going to give the mic, but check it. No, please, when I, when I let you, when you come in, my brother, as a Christian, no, 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 listen, what I'm saying is this, don't try, and, and listen to me clearly, because I'm going to ask you now. It said, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of the eternal world that will follow. So this is what we've broken down. The question was, what do we think about the world being spoken of in, in John? The third chapter, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But in that particular context that it's been spoken of in John the third chapter, God is referring to the children of Israel at that point. Now, what we're not saying is there's no place whatsoever for people of a different nation. That's not what we're saying. You understand me? Well, well, no, but I'm saying that because I know you've had encounters with people in the past. 
Yeah, because me and you have had a conversation, you don't remember. remember. Alright, so what I'm saying is, we don't come without doctrine. So you don't have to fight us about it. The only thing we should be talking about, well, me and you, really, you being a Christian, is what is it wrong to teach a black man that is a Jew if he fits the curses of Jew on him in the 28th chapter? Uh, is that, yeah, co co that, that, co do, do, do we accept them? Do you understand the breakdown of, of jo John? Do you understand that now, yeah? The first thing is when you said to the Jew first and to the Gentile, I don't disagree with that, I agree with that, right? So don't disagree with that, it says it in scripture, right? But the problem that I have, two things, if you could go to, while well, we're talking, I'll just be one minute and then I'll just tell us, we're not. If you go to Galatians chapter 1, verse 3 to 6, could you read it? Well, you, you've got to, let's go, go there, go to Galatians, go on. Verse 3 and 6. You don't normally go, go here like this, but. Just read it, you could just read it. I'll give you one minute. Galatians chapter 1. Galatians chapter 1. Say right, we'll go there for the book. Verse 3 to 6. The book of Galatians chapter 1 and verse 3. To 6. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father, to whom he glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Alright. Yeah, we agree with that. Right. That's but the Bible. But the point is, is What's the when, point? when I come out preaching the gospel, when I come out preaching yes, the gospel, sir. I preach, come to Jesus, whether you're Jew or Gentile. So do we. So that's what I focus on. That's, right. that's what we do. You've not been focusing on that. Oh, what are we focusing on? Well, you've been all over the place, right? No, 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 but that's not true. You asked me, no, 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 just be clear. No, no, no. Listen, you, are, you asked the question, and we went precept upon precept to show you exactly the understanding of it. You can, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. I, I, I asked you, I asked you what was the meaning of John 3.16, for God's son of the world. And you went to many, many scriptures to explain that it doesn't mean the whole world, but it means quite clearly, from your point of view, Israel. Yeah. 100%, right, yeah. Right, right. So my point is, when I quote in Galatians there, that the gospel is that Christ died for the Jew and the Gentile, right? That Christ gave his life and that's how we get saved. And if you, my friend, I've got great respect for you, right? I like you. But if you can take a simple scripture which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. If you can take a, a simple text like that and you can't interpret it correctly, you need to go back and study your Bible. My brother. Right. Absolutely no wrong. No hey brother, no, you can no. take your opinion with you, but thank you very much. Get Second John 2 and 15 for the people who have just come to show you how wrong that is. No, I, I, Alright, 2 and 15 and 3 and 16, get it again. And this is what, this is what I asked I ask the brother not to do. Don't let everything I say go over your head. Alright, God bless you. All right, one second. I can explain it, bro, but it's kind of long to explain that, and it's not edifying to everybody. You understand me? It's a little bit deep. You with me? Most people here don't want to hear that, you know. But I can tell you, I'm not saying I won't tell you. Let's let's get the guys in there. Give him a call. You with me? Read this. Three and sixteen. The book of First John, chapter two, and verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. So John 3, 16, where all the Christians look to run to, so God loves the world, everything in the world. Nah, because God hates sinners. You understand me? That's number one. Number two, the most high is talking about the